The story begins with Ling driving in heavy rain. Professionally, she is a Chinese language teacher at Yangwang Secondary School. She drives to school every day as usual, but before entering, she injects herself with a special type of injection directly into her stomach. This injection has to be administered by Ling herself. But why does she have to do this every day? This will become clear to you as the story unfolds. Just understand this much for now. The pain of this injection is nothing compared to the extraordinary pain Link experiences in her life. Now, after school ends, Link returns home where she lives with her husband Andrew and father-in-law. Ling is like those extraordinary women who shoulder all the responsibilities of the household along with outside work. She in addition to working outside and also taking care of the house, taking all the responsibilities into her shoulders and is moving the train of life forward. Her father-in-law is paralyzed. His hands and feet don't function, so she not only takes care of him but also manages all the household chores. If there's anything lacking, it's the absence of the joyous laughter of a child in this quiet home. Ling is getting her checkup done because she hasn't had any children in the past eight years. During the checkup, today the doctor gave her the good news, you're slowly recovering and I hope you'll soon become a mother. Meanwhile at the hospital, Ling met one of her students Kai, who had injured his leg during martial arts training. As it was raining heavily outside, Ling, being a good teacher, dropped Kai off at his home so he wouldn't get soaked. She is not only a good person but also an excellent teacher. She has decided that, the students who are weak in Chinese in her class, she will now give them extra classes every Wednesday so that everyone can pass the upcoming exams. Kai is also included among these vulnerable children. Perhaps, she takes care of these children, since she doesn't have any children of her own. Now at home, Andrew is bathing his father. The dynamics between Ling and Andrew are evident from their actions. It seems that, things aren't going well between the two, their relationship is extremely strained. There is a deep rift in their relationship. The next day, while Ling is taking care of her father-in-law, news about riots in Malaysia is airing on TV. She calls her mother to check on her. Actually, Ling's mother lives in Malaysia. And her stubborn brother also lives with her mother, who remembers Ling only when he needs something urgent such as money or other necessities. He is so shameless that he even comes to her school to borrow money from his sister. Here, in the Chinese class, none of the children seem particularly interested in learning Chinese, except for Kai. Because his father's business is in China, and without knowing the Chinese language, he won't be able to do anything there. So he is determined to learn Chinese no matter what. But Kai hasn't any idea that he would fall for Ling while learning the Chinese. Due to the extra classes, he starts spending more time with Ling and they have some conversations. Then Ling starts dropping him off at home. However, Ling has no idea that her student is falling so deeply in love with her. She treats him just like any other student. On one side, Ling's school life is going smoothly, but on the other side, her personal life is in turmoil. Andrew comes home late every day after drinking and there is no love left between them. However, Ling is willing to go to any lengths for the happiness of having a child for which she has been making all these efforts for so long. Becoming a mother in a woman's life, living those feelings, raising the child, nurturing, and cherishing them until they grow up is a beautiful moment for them. It's like unlocking a treasure trove of happiness in her life. Ling also feels that a child could bring happiness back into their lives and wonders about her relationship with Andrew. The child who can bring joy into her life may also mend her relationship with Andrew. So having a child is her last hope. The next day, Andrew's sister called Ling to invite her to their child's birthday party. Andrew didn't want to go to the party, but he agreed upon Ling's insistence. On the other hand, Kai's foot has completely healed now and he wants to resume his martial arts training. He asked Ling to change the timing of the extra class for him. Ling also happily adjusted the timing for him. Seeing such dedication, Ling was very pleased. The next morning, Andrew and Ling went to his sister's place with her father-in-law. They arrived at the party. But Andrew refused to go inside at the last moment, saying he had to play golf with his client. Leaving Ling outside, he left. Ling went inside and saw the whole house beautifully decorated, filled with the aroma of delicious dishes. Everyone seemed very happy, but how would Ling know that amidst this joyous occasion, she would face such discrimination? As soon as Ling lifted the child with affection, Andrew's sister snatched her child away from her. This behavior didn't sit well with Ling. What must be going through the minds of those women, who after getting married, cannot experience the joy of having children, often face the derogatory remarks of society, labeling them as barren and using all sorts of hurtful words. Is being childless truly such a curse? Is it solely the fault of a woman? 
Think about it. Now in the morning, while Ling was teaching Kai at school, she suddenly received a call from home. So, she had to, to hurry up and bring Kai along with her, because her class had not finished yet. There, Kai meets Ling's father-in-law for the first time, and in their first meeting, they bond quite well. They even had dinner together and talked about a lot of things. Later Ling once again, reached at the hospital. Today she was scheduled to undergo IVF, in vitro fertilization, treatment, which is commonly known as IVF. IVF is a fertility treatment that helps individuals or couples struggling with infertility to experience the joy of having a child. But the unfortunate part is that Andrew, as always, is not with her during this difficult time, when she needs her life partner the most. Ling also couldn't understand why Andrew would do such a thing to her. Andrew's behavior led Ling to increasingly isolate herself, and the mountain of sorrows upon her finally crumbled when she found out that her IVF operation was unsuccessful. Poor Ling, first she had to endure her husband treating her like a stranger, and then after so much effort, the operation failed. She is truly going through such a bad phase, where the rain is the only companion of her tears, under the cover of which she can cry openly. But besides the rain of this monsoon, there is also another person who can feel her pain. Her student, Kai. After the incident, Ling became quieter and stopped going to school altogether. One day, she received a message on her desk from Kai that he had a martial arts competition on Thursday and he had invited her to attend the competition. Ling, accompanied by her father-in-law, attended the competition to encourage him. Her encouragement increased and Kai won the gold medal in the match with his outstanding performance. Everyone was delighted. The match ended and we also found out that there isn't much difference between Ling and Kai's life. Because, just like Ling's husband doesn't value her, similarly, Kai's family also does not care about him. Even today, from Kai's family, no one had came to watch their son's match. Seeing him sad, Ling took him to a restaurant to celebrate this occasion, where everyone had lunch together. This was the moment when Kai began considering Ling as an important part of his life. The next morning, Ling went to the market for some errands. When she saw Andrew with an unknown woman, and she realized that her husband was cheating on her, it felt like her world had shattered. She didn't know what to do. She was completely broken inside, but still, she didn't tell anything about this to Andrew's father. She doesn't want that he would have any regret in this age. Now, exhausted from household chores, Ling was so tired that her eyes closed on their own. She started dreaming that she had become a mother and as she began to feed her child, the baby started crying loudly. Startled, she woke up and her eyes opened. After that, she went to see Andrew's father in his room. Today, there is a calmness in the room. The sound of heavy rain couldn't even wake Andrew's father up. Ling called out to him several times, but he didn't respond. He has bid farewell to this world. In the funeral proceedings, that woman was also present, whom Ling had seen with her husband a few days ago. She also had a child with her. It seems that Andrew not only betrayed Ling, but also remarried behind her back. Ling has already endured so much pain and betrayal, that now nothing seems to affect her anymore. She has become so strong that she can adapt to any situation. Understanding this betrayal as a lesson, Ling went back to school after a few days. Kai became very happy to see her. And as always, after giving him extra class, Ling left to drop him home. But on the way, Kai's nose started bleeding. Ling got scared and brought him to her home, and quickly took out the ice from the fridge. Kai was trying to stop the blood flowing from his nose by taking off his shirt and holding it against his nose. At that moment, Ling entered the room and asked, are you a fan of Jackie Chen? Kai replied her in a joking manner, and the next moment, they both came very close to each other. The distance between them, which was like that of a student and a teacher, disappeared. Ling couldn't refuse either because the love she had been searching for so many years, she was finally getting that from Kai. Both of them went far away from that relationship of a teacher and a student. But, then suddenly, Ling felt very regretful for this mistake. Ling wasn't able to understand how she could fall into the trap. Kai is her student. She made a big mistake. She tried to explain to him a lot, but he didn't listen. As soon as he got the opportunity, he tried to have physical relations with Ling everywhere, which annoyed her. One day, Ling slapped him. There was also an argument about this incident on the road, where Ling said she would drop him off not at his house, but at the bus stop. This made him angry, and they argued back and forth. During the clash between the two, Ling turned the steering wheel to the other side. She swerved and collided with another car. Because a woman was driving it, this implies that people had already assumed that she couldn't drive properly. But no one wants to know the truth, society always decides everything about someone beforehand. That's what they have always done. 
Now, Andrew leaves the car in the garage and drops Ling home. One day, during a training session at school, Kai was secretly looking at a photo of Miss Ling on his phone. When his friends saw this, they snatched the phone away from him, sparking a major fight between them. The matter reached the school principal, and he also became aware that there was an affair going on between Miss Ling and her student Kai. The principal granted Ling a few days leave. As it turns out, the principal is about to be promoted in a few days and he doesn't want any incidents to tarnish his reputation at the school before leaving. To save his own and Miss Ling's job, he advised her to take a few days off. After school, Ling once again tried to explain Kai. What do you want after all? Why are you doing this? She asked. Kai replied, this is my first breakup. I want to hug you for the last time. With this, the rain also started. As a memorable moment, Ling hugged Kai. Some time later, Ling found out that she was pregnant. After that, she divorced her unfaithful husband and went back to her mother's village forever. Upon reaching her village home, she saw her mother washing clothes. She also started helping her mother with her chores. The weather had cleared up and the rain had stopped. Along with the change in weather, Ling's life had also weathered through difficult times that she had been enduring for years. Now she is completely free. Not only from her husband's abusive behavior, but also from all the ups and downs of society, where only women are considered guilty. This story also shows us that every aspect of life doesn't necessarily have to be one-sided. Sometimes, mistakes can come from the other side as well. The women whom you considered weak have not only faced every hardship head-on, but also given a fitting reply. With this, I conclude this story. Thank you. If you like the story, please like, share, and comment.